Hi everybody, it's Colin Sandberg with Backbone Performance and uh, it's March 2nd, 2018. I'm obviously in the car driving down to, uh, to Ball Ground, Georgia for the tour of Southern Highlands. First race weekend of the year, figured I'm in the car for 12 hours uh, by myself, got nothing better to do, so maybe uh, post a little video talk about whatever um, with these videos I'm gonna try to do more short videos so uh, post in the comments anything you'd like to hear about uh, might do some race footage this is filmed on my uh, Garmin verb which uh, has the ability to do live broadcast but I've had some difficulty with that in the past mainly because it drains my batteries so, uh, yeah, sitting here in the car, a couple things to talk about. Um, first of all, a lot of people ask me about how many races should I do every year. You know, I'm, I'm worried about racing too much. And my response is usually that uh, it, it's not usually about how many races you do. It's about um, the traveling. The traveling is really what can kill you. And I, and I know guys who have done 100 races in a year but slept in their own bed every night and they're fine and I know guys that have done like three races a year but they're traveling halfway across the world to do them and it's a lot more stressful um, you really need to make a lot more plans when you're when you're doing serious travel going to a race um, <clears throat> it's uh, and it's a lot more expensive and of course like I think you, you tend to put a lot more pressure on yourself if if you get on a plane and fly across the country or the world to do a race or, you, or you're sitting in the car for 12 hours each way to go to a race and things don't go well, it's a little bit tougher to take than if you, you know, ride your bike to your local race. Um, if there, you know, let's say you get a flat tire and things don't go well, it's a lot easier, to, I, I think, to brush it off. Um, so, a um, couple things about traveling to a race that I would say. One is, um, you can't really see it right now, but try to dress in comfortable clothes. I've got my, uh, my Zoot recovery compression tights underneath my, uh, I, I usually wear these Lululemon yoga pants, super comfortable. Compression tights aren't super, super comfortable, especially in the heat, in the, in the hotter days of summer. But I really feel like they're they're helpful in terms of keeping your legs fairly fresh on these long trips, either in the car or uh, on an airplane. And um, definitely think it's worthwhile to spend the money on a good pair of recovery tights. Uh, like I said, I like the Zoot ones. There's a few other good brands out there. They make some cheap ones that. Um, at, at drugstores that you can pick up for I don't know how much, but usually they, they wear out pretty quickly. So, um, you know, it might be okay, but you're gonna have to replace them pretty regularly. So, um, invest in a good pair of recovery tights and uh, I, and try them on too, because sometimes the sizing's a little bit weird. I know I wear a size smaller than the, the recommendation just because I want the appropriate amount of compression. You don't want too much or it'll constrict blood flow, but you don't want too little or you're not really doing anything there. Um, in the car with you, definitely a good idea to plan ahead, bring some, bring some food, bring some water so you stay hydrated, have some good healthy snacks. I've got a, a bag here with uh, peanut butter and jelly fixings and nuts and dried fruit, pretzels, stuff like that. Now you can get a lot of stuff at um, at rest stops now, but you never know exactly what you're gonna be able to get, especially if you're traveling. And a lot of times I find uh, when I'm stopping for rest stops, stopping at rest stops for food, I tend to not always make the best the best choice is so better to plan it out Your phone call coming in I'm just gonna
incline that. Okay, yeah, still. Uh, so, whatever works for you, everybody has their own preferences, but really the more of your own food that you can, that you can bring, the better. And it's all about planning. Um, hydration, got my bottle of water here. I know this is something that I struggle with. I, I usually get in the car and I want to I want to get to the race. I want to get the drive over with, get out of the car. But um, yeah, so you might resist hydrating too much so you don't have to stop all the time. But uh, for the most part, it's a good idea to get out of the car at least every three or four hours, stretch, clear your mind, go to the bathroom. Um, and I'd recommend, a, depending on the conditions of the, the race you're going to, I know here we're going to tour Southern Islands. It's going to be 65 degrees. doesn't sound super hot, but it's a lot warmer than we're used to in Philadelphia. And, um, and uh, you know, you, you can dehydrate, especially a lot of guys are doing, the, the juniors are doing a 75-mile road race. The, uh, the the pros are doing a 90 mile road race, so it is certainly possible to dehydrate and have problems with cramping. So you might want to mix up the water with um, like an electrolyte tab, like a noon tablet, or uh, got some somewhere here from from Goo. These are just electrolytes; they don't have calories in them. So you don't want to be chugging energy drink with all those extra calories while you're just you know, sitting in the car or sitting at home pre-hydrating or post-hydrating before or after the race. Uh, I, in most situations, would recommend having an energy drink during the race, meaning it has energy and it has calories in it, and uh, as well as electrolytes versus right now, you're really just doing it to hydrate not because you need a lot of extra energy just for just for sitting there. So uh, the, those electrolyte tabs are good, and they can help you retain a little bit more of the water, so you don't pee half of it out. Uh, well, I guess that's it for now. Um, write in the comments what else you might want to hear about. I'll be coming back throughout the weekend, giving you some updates on the race, and uh, maybe some some on bike footage but uh, anything else you want to hear about let me know in the comments talk to you soon